Do not play old school RuneScape right now. And I mean this the best way possible. No negative connotation, no drama farming, nothing else. It's just a shout out to the people who care about their accounts. They worked for hundreds of hours. Please, for the love of God, for your own sake, I wouldn't recommend going hard on old school RuneScape or RS3 until Jagex fixes the problem. If you don't know what's been happening in the past few weeks, this comment perfectly summarizes everything you need to know about. Basically, Jagex has been playing around with their detection system for the past couple of weeks, and a lot of people have gotten falsely banned, including high-profile content creators like Framed. A lot of bots have also gotten banned, but in typical Jagex fashion, there's been a significant amount of friendly fire in the process. It's already been confirmed by Mod Matt K that this does happen and has happened in the past. If you want to avoid false bans, you want to make sure you are being as clean as possible. This means a wired mouse, wired internet connection, only using rune light and nothing else. You also might want to delete system 32 to be safe. Please don't do the last one. And that's the gist of it. And here's a perfect example of someone who got caught in the crossfire. This player was using a foot pedal, which is completely legal. You're allowed to use a foot pedal for training in old school skip because some people are disabled or some people just don't want to hurt their hands. Point is, it's allowed. And then she got banned, so she made a noise on Twitter about it. The tweet got over 60,000 views and a Jagex moderator looked into it. And turns out they removed the ban. Shout out to everyone that liked and retweeted that. All of you are geez, for for real, for real. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be young and hip. Okay, anyways, you would think that's it, right? The problem is solved. Uh, wrong. She got banned again 18 hours later for the exact same thing. She was doing RD nights, training her thieving, and bam, the hammer came down. This is so ridiculous. First of all, there should be like a cooldown after you get unbanned for like a week or so. But the good news is, after making some more noise on Twitter, she's now been unbanned once again. What a roller coaster for her in the past 24 hours it has been. We are back to foot pedaling, baby. Let's go. And she's not the only one. There was a thread about an hour ago that said, please. Do not play old school RuneScape right now because the cheating detection system software Jagex is using is all sorts of messed up and you might get banned for it. That's it. It happened to three of my friends in the last 48 hours. So a Jagex moderator makes a comment saying, hey, can you give me their in-game names and I'll take a look at it. Now that was his first mistake because look at this. Just like in an hour, I can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until the end of time. There are so many people who have been falsely banned in the last few weeks and it's insane how far we got them with this. People are just spamming Mod Twisted, who is by the way the anti-cheating specialist at Jagex. God bless you all, I swear to God, if I had to do that job, the veins in my forehead would have probably exploded already. It has to be so incredibly stressful to be in this position. By the way, I'm, I'm still scrolling. I mean, the list just isn't ending. That's how many people have been falsely banned. And this is going on Twitter. This is going on on Discord, YouTube, Reddit. I mean, you, you name it. There's, it's everywhere. Now, obviously, some of these people that you see are just blatantly lying. You know who you are. I mean, you know exactly who you are. They did something sketchy and now they're throwing a Hail Mary to try to get unbanned in this situation even though they know very well they broke the rules. There, there's always gonna be this sort of people, but the gist of it is hundreds of victims have fallen for the new detection system. Now, this is actually a good thing. Okay, okay, put down your torches, put down your torches, put down, let, let me explain, let me explain. So obviously they're testing out a new system and the system is also apparently really good at catching bots. So we might have a silver lining here, even though I don't know if you can qualify it as that. And by the way, these are not my words, taken from people who are actually in the botting community. A user makes a post on botting website saying three of his accounts has been banned and basically it's because of prime events and it's been going on for a month now and the rates for bot bans have been incredibly high and everyone's saying that bots are getting destroyed faster than a pepperoni pizza in the hands of a fat guy 
and, and I can make that joke because I'm I'm also fat. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, there are even people saying that uh, they're getting banned for using a third-party software. So basically, if you log into a non-Jagex authorized client, you might also get banned. So do not use anything but the official client or the Runelite client right now, because you you don't even have to be botting right now. You might just get banned if you're using this sort of clients. So one of the reasons why all of these high ban rates currently exist is because of Prime events. So if you don't know what that is, essentially you can get one week of free membership if you attach your Amazon Prime account to your RuneScape account. And this is like a gold mine for bot farmers because you don't have to pay for membership. It is so much cheaper and more effective to get Amazon Prime and use that to fuel your bot farm than it is to get bonds. So the rate of bots always goes up when the Amazon Prime event is happening. One person said it perfectly, botting season has begun. So this is the story so far. Jagex is banning a lot of bots, but unfortunately, a very large number of regular players are getting caught in the crossfire. So whatever you do, play RuneScape at your own risk. You might catch a few bullets as well in the upcoming week or so. For me, at this point, I mean, it's just hilarious. I help dozens of people, like the people you see in this thread right now. By the way, I can still keep scrolling. The list just will not end. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. And I've also tried to help them. I've tried to direct them to the right links, tried to get their appeals, tried to talk them with Reddit, Twitter, everything. And I am just tired. I've kind of given up myself because at this point, I'm just gonna enjoy the ride, you know, I'm gonna enjoy the show because this is, it's such a gaming company thing to do, you know, you, you, you try your best to make the game a better place, but somehow you end up even worse than before. That's the gist of it right now. So I wish nothing but the best to the people who are trying their hardest right now to fix this thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me. I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. I, I hope this gets solved soon. If not, I mean, you're gonna see more videos on this because this is just, I mean, it's sad, but it's also funny. That's the TLDR. It's sad, but it's funny. So yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Hopefully I don't have to talk about this anymore, but I probably will. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye. Oh yeah, and subscribe as well. Mm -hmm.